Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing ceremony for the PlayStation 5. Many people, I'm sure, have already seen this and have already seen what it looks like. But, for those of you who haven't, and for those of you who haven't yet managed to secure a PlayStation 5, I will share a little of my excitement with you. Mmm, fancy box. Now, the interesting thing is, is I got the digital only edition because I felt like the day and age that we're in, I'm not really collecting movies anymore. And there's not really a need to collect the physical versions of games. The only thing that I had a little bit of remorse about is that Sometimes it's fun to collect the collectible editions where you get like a Nathan Drake figure or you get like a, uh, you know, something you wouldn't get obviously in a digital. But I thought I could just aftermarket statues or collectibles if I wanted to. So that is what I'm going to do. with a little thank you card. Congratulations on your PlayStation 5. The big day is finally here. Thank you for your support and we hope you enjoy the journey. As a small token of our appreciation, please visit PlayStationStore.com to redeem a special gift. And there's like a code. And welcome to the next generations of gaming. Generation of gaming. So, special gift. I'm sure it's a theme or something like that. I don't think I've ever changed my, maybe one time, I changed my uh, menu theme. But it's not something I really care that much about, having a uh, certain menu. But, the other thing about having a disc-free console is that it's a little harder for people to buy you gifts if they want to get you a game have to have them get you PlayStation Cash. That'll work. And then you can download the game you want. Don't worry. And from what I have heard and seen, the actual console looks a lot better when it's only the digital version. People have said it looks pregnant if it's the disc version because it's kind of a sleek has a attractive, futuristic looking form, but then if you have the disk drive on it, the form is the same, but then there's this disk drive sticking out on one side. So, sort of takes away from the prettiness of it. Hopefully, 4K movies work on streaming platforms through here and give you your 4K abilities. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Shaped sort of like a trapper keeper. Now my understanding is if you put this, stand this like this, when you have the did disk drive, it comes out on the side here. It's sort of a fatter uh, bottom to it. But, not having the disk drive, you have this kind of fancy looking deal. I guess you can put it like this. If you want to stand it flat, or if you want to stand it straight up, you can stand it like this. Comes with the controller. I already ordered a second controller. I have it. I got it about two weeks ago. Um, when I ordered the controller, I was thinking they weren't going to give me a controller with the machine. They oftentimes uh, will screw you in some of these game companies like that. It's got a nice tactile feel. It's very smooth and futuristic looking. Haptic feedback, I'm told, is very, very nice. power cord, a couple of books, and uh, I, w 
wasn't certain if it was going to have a... Um, holder, like a stand, because the other one, if you wanted to stand it up, you had to have a stand for it. This one does not need a stand, because it's got sort of a... If you're, if you're standing it flat, it can stand flat on its, lay flat on its own, and if you're standing it, you can just stand it up. Ta-da! I don't know that I have the room to stand it up like that, but... Interesting. If you do lay it flat, it doesn't really lay flat. It almost has to stand up. This is our stand. This may be our stand. Oh, yes. It is. So if you want to stand it up, or stand, you can do it that way. And it's got a little... Not sure. That's for your controller. It seems like maybe... charging, you can lay your controller down on the side, like this. I, that's what it looks like to me. I'm not certain. And then you would just plug it in to charge. I don't know how you would do that, though, because the charging port's up here. So unless I'm wrong, um, and you don't put the, the controller here, which is what it looks like you would do. I'm not sure. So yes, uh, for the stand you can put it like that. It doesn't seem to me like you would put it on its side because it's it's. The contour of it is such that it's sort of lopsided if you lay it down. It looks like the only way it's meant to go is you show it laying down here on the back. I'm not sure what the little holder there is for. I guess it's for your game, your uh, controller. But place the console with the rear side facing up, align the base. Mark area on the rear of the console and press the base in firmly. Get the base attached. Make sure the hook is in position illustrated below before attaching the base to the console. Oh. So it's not this. It is. Turn it this way. Hook it. Man, I guess. Secure with a screw. Hmm. Don't see a screw. like this, which it seems like it should because the symbol is up here. And I'm not sure. It says rear side facing up and then remove the screw hole cap. Oh. the hook is in the position as shown. Place the console with the rear side facing up. 
attach the screw hole cap to the bottom of the base. screw from the bottom of the base. Attach the base and then secure with a screw. shaped object to attach the screw. It's strange because they told me to put the cap on before I uh, put the screw in. not really sure where I'm gonna put it. Right now I have my PlayStation 4 underneath my uh, fish tank in sort of a television entertainment type of a stand. It's sort of gone away lately. They don't really make this uh, since the advent of flat screen TVs you don't really need a stand for your television like they used to have these big unwieldy stands where you would put your VCR, your DVD player, your radio, your all things that really people don't use very much anymore. There is a DVD player type of a thing. on the stand. Ta-da! Stunning! And thus is the PlayStation 5. Controller. Fancy.